we're sitting here at the Malakoff at the dry dock here in Lerwick. It makes complete sense to come here to Shetland with Chris, who's from here, of course, and, and with this piece, which is all about sea journeys. I decided a few years ago that what I'd really like to do is to write something specifically for Katrina and for Chris. And because I'd been working with the Scottish Ensemble quite a lot, I just thought it would be really interesting to introduce them. And I had a kind of feeling that the dynamic would really work, and that's absolutely been the case. We tried to find a balance between running off with an idea and also being true to the ideas that she had come with. So it's been a tremendous journey, creatively. It was like the most wonderful gift that Sally came along and decided she wanted to write for us. We started playing it, it sort of evolved, um, and especially with what Chris and Katrina are doing, their parts just went off in this kind of amazing direction. I wrote things which I knew that they might decide not to do, and I loved that, the fact that they were going to come in there and actually work with me and collaborate. We knew we could say what we thought. Um, Chris is very good at being open. <laughs> We are always wanting to just bring music together and Sally has facilitated that and bringing us together with the Scottish Ensemble as well. They are all such incredible musicians in their own right. During the recording, um, there were some bits that they, they really just pulled out so, so much that I almost jumped out of my skin. It was so exciting. You can feel the group moving right with you, right there. It's incredible. There was a sense that the creative process was continuing as we recorded. Every take we did was different, so the producer, Phil Hobbs, had a moment of realisation where he realised essentially he couldn't really edit this at all. 